And we're going to do a wrist and hand friendly flow today. So no plank, no chaturanga, no down dog. So we'll be on our legs a lot. There'll be lots of stepping to and fro um, from the front of the back mat to the back of the mat, but um, we're gonna stay off of our wrists. We're gonna give them a break today. So we're actually gonna start standing up today. So what I want you to do is find yourself your own little bit of wall space. It doesn't take a lot here. If you don't have a wall, maybe just grab onto the back of the couch or a chair or something. We're gonna step right up to it. Hands right at your chest level, about shoulder distance apart. And then take a step back with either leg. It doesn't matter which one. Now you want to adjust yourself here so that your back heel is touching down, but it's taking some effort to get it there. So that takes a little bit of experimentation. So the back heel is touching the floor, but you're having to really stretch to make that happen. And then just breathe here. You can close your eyes if you like. Really feel that nice stretch in your calf, up the back of your knee. Relax your shoulders. Relax your shoulders even more. On your next exhale, let that air come out nice and loud through the mouth. <sighs> then step forward again and switch sides. The same thing here, find that adjustment so that that back heel is touching down, but it takes you just a little bit of work to get it there. Relax your shoulders, relax your face. For lots of us, this simple stretch here can be a really nice release on the low back. Here comes trouble. On your next exhale, let it come out through the mouth. <sighs> Step it forward again. Switch sides. We're going to do each side twice. You may find that you have to step back a little bit further this time. Now that you're already a little bit stretched out. Step all the way forward again, switch sides. forward. Just coming back to your mat from wherever you were. 
and find your feet here just a comfortable distance apart. And then give yourself a little bit of rocking motion front to back. Not so hard in either direction that you're going to lose your balance. Just sort of feeling your whole foot here as you rock. Popping and creaking a little bit as you go maybe. And then come back. And then rock a little bit from side to side on the feet. Keep everything else relaxed. Reach back with your right foot, bringing the top of your foot down and just really gently pressing in to the tops of those toes, just stretching your foot that direction. Just experiment here, see how much pressure your toes, your foot can take. Finding that stretch there on the top of the foot. You don't want pain, you just want to stretch. And then finding the other side, just bringing those so left toes back, just stretching the leg that way. facing forward, about hip bone distance apart here. And turn your palms forward. Roll the shoulders up and back and down. And then inhale the arms forward and up. Lift the chest. And then exhale the arms all the way down to the side. And inhale, forward and up. Lift the chest, look up. And then exhale, bringing them all the way down to the sides. Really deliberate movement here. A couple more of those. Inhale, lifting up. Lift the chest. And then exhale, releasing them down. Don't let them just fall. A nice, slow release. One more of these. And exhale, slowly release it down. Now, on your next inhale, bring the arms forward and overhead. And as you exhale, let's grab onto that right knee and pull it in. And then inhale, release, arms overhead. And exhale, other side. Pull the left knee up towards the left shoulder. Inhale, overhead once more each side. And exhale, pull the right knee in. And inhale, overhead. And exhale, other side. Nothing like a bit of balancing at the beginning of class. And then inhale, overhead again. And exhale, let the arms come out to the sides. Nice and wide, slow on the way down. Now we're going to face the front of the mat. Again, feet are hip bone distance apart here. Hands on hips. Now rooting down into that left foot. Lift the right knee up. Hold here. And then we're going to take a big step 
back with that right foot, staying up on those back toes in a lunge. Now scoot this back foot back far enough so that you're finding a stretch right here in the back of that leg, or the front, the front of the back leg. Now let's make that back leg just a little bit stronger. Maybe think about straightening that knee a little bit, pressing the back of that thigh up towards the ceiling. And releasing your hands down again. Inhale the arms forward and up. Look up, lift the chest. And then exhale, release the arms back down to the sides. Inhale, forward and up. And exhale, release them down to the sides. Two more of these. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Here, either interlacing the fingers or if you have tight shoulders like me, just hook your thumbs. Squeeze your shoulder blades together and then lift your chest super gentle here. Don't even think about taking this into a deep back bend. Just squeeze the shoulder blades together, maybe lifting the chin just a little bit. Breathe. Keep that back leg strong. If you feel wobbly, think about pressing down into that front big toe. Now on your next inhale, bring your hands back to your hips. And as you exhale, either take one big step or maybe give yourself several little steps back to the front. Rooting down into the right foot this time. And then lifting the left knee. Hold here, breathe. And then taking a big step back with that left foot all the way back. And finding your lunge. Now wiggle that left foot back far enough so that you're really finding that stretch here in the front of that thigh, the front of that left thigh. Settle in here. Really strong in the leg. Straighten that back knee maybe just a little bit more. And release your arms down. And on your next inhale, sweep the arms forward and up. Lift your chest. And as you exhale, just release them down to the sides. Inhale, forward and up. And exhale, release. Two more of these. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Inhale. And exhale the arms down to the sides. Now either interlacing the fingers or hooking the thumbs. And then really gentle here. Squeeze the shoulder blades together at the back. Lift the chest just a bit. Maybe lifting the chin just a touch. Breathe. Relax your face. On your next inhale, hands to the hips. At the bottom of your exhale, lots of little steps or one big step to the front. Now decide here how you like to take your chair pose. 
you can have your feet together, your knees together, your thighs together, or you can have your feet hip distance apart, knees hip distance apart. Make your choice, commit to it. What we don't want to see are the feet out and the knees in, like you have to go to the bathroom. We don't want to see feet in, knees out, like you are going to the bathroom. So choose one, whichever one feels better in your body. One is not better than the other. And we're going to start here with just our hands on our hips. Pull your core in tight here, belly button in, low ribs in. And then start binding your chair, just bending the knees and hinging forward at the waist a little bit, trying to keep yourself from falling into that back bend. I tend to really curve here. Try and keep that core really strong, keeping the back long. And breathe. Pull your weight back to your heels. And then look down at your feet. If your knees are hiding your toes, if you look down and you can't see your toes, pull your seat back a little bit until you can see your toes there. On your next inhale, sit just a little bit deeper. Exhale, come out just a little bit. Inhale, sit a little bit deeper. Exhale, release just a little. Inhale, sit deeper. Exhale, release out just a couple of inches. And inhale, sit deeper. Hold here. Weight to the heels, maybe lifting the toes. Breathe. On your next exhale, fold forward. Keep the knees soft. Now give yourself enough of a bend in your knees here so that your lowest rib can graze your thighs. That'll look different on all of us. And it may look different than the way you did it yesterday. You could tell I ran today. I'm feeling really tight all down the backs of my legs. Just breathe here. Let the head fall really heavy. Think about a weight on the top of your head, just pulling it nice and long. Nice, long neck. And on your next inhale, arms wide. Flat back, raise all the way up. And then again, exhale, arms all the way down to the sides. Nice and wide today. Now rooting down into your left foot again. Lift the right knee up. Let's have hands on hips again. And then just draw that knee out to the side. Just as far as your body wants to let it go. Keep your hips facing forward. Bring that knee to the front again. And then take that big step to the back, finding your lunging legs. Now in your lunge here, if you're having trouble balancing, make sure that your feet, take a peek, are still hip distance apart. If you find yourself on a tightrope here, legs in one line, you're gonna wobble all over the place. Give yourself a bit of a wider base. You want your feet to be hip distance apart here. Now this time, release both arms down to the sides. And inhale the left arm overhead. And exhale, find a bend towards the right. Nice long side stretch here. Just keep that right arm relaxed. Or if you'd like, you can bring it to your hip. See what feels better for you. Bending towards the right. Keeping the legs strong. The 
relax your face. Think about lengthening both sides of the body here, pulling long on both sides. And on your next exhale, release. And inhale the right arm up. And exhale, bend towards the left. Breathe. Next exhale, release. And inhale the arms overhead, forward and up. And then give yourself just nice soft elbows here. Let the arms sort of melt behind, lift the chest, relax your fingers, and breathe. Imagine a helping hand on your back, just sort of pressing up, helping you lift your chest here. On your next inhale, come out of that back bend, hands to the hips. And at the bottom of your exhale, step it forward, one big or lots of little. Rooting down into the right foot this time, lifting that left knee forward. And then pulling it to the side. Bringing it forward again. And then finding that nice big step back to your lunge. And again, adjusting yourself here so that your feet are hip distance apart. Find that nice stretch in the back leg. And release your arms down, relax your shoulders. And on your next inhale, bring that right arm all the way up. And as you exhale, find that side bend towards the left. Lengthening both sides of the waist here. Don't crunch into that left side. You can feel this nice long stretch down the right, but think about pulling long in the left also. Even if it means you have to come out of that bend a little bit to do so. And on your next exhale, release. Inhale, other side. And then exhale, find that bend, same thing, loose arm or hand on hip, whatever feels more comfortable for you. And on your next exhale, release. Inhale, arms overhead. And then find those relaxed shoulders, loose arms, relaxed fingers. Lift the chest, breathe. Think about lengthening your upper spine, lifting the chest up as though there's a rope here. And I'm pulling it up to the ceiling. Now on your next inhale, Release that back bend, hands to the hips. At the bottom of your exhale, step it forward. Now finding your chair pose again. So again, however you like here. You can have feet and knees and thighs together or have distance apart. Our hands to the heart. Pull the core in tight. Really strong here. And start bending the knees, hinging forward a bit just at the waist. Nice strong back here. Breathe. Now 
and twisting from your core towards the right. And then setting your elbow or that upper arm on that leg and find your twist here. So think about pulling your thumbs in close to your sternum and having a really nice long spine here. And breathe. Lengthening out through the top of your head. Keep it long. And then coming back to the center. And switching sides from the core towards the left. And keeping that length in the spine. to the center and on your next exhale fold forward maybe walking it out in the knees a little bit or just swaying from side to side just kind of see what feels good here whatever you do don't lock the knees keep at least a nice soft bend in them wide, flat back, inhale up, and exhale the arms all the way down to your sides. Now we're going to bring our stance wide here, so you may want to turn and face the side of your mat. We're going to turn our toes out. Toes and kneecaps are facing in the same direction. We're going to find a bend in the knees here. Now usually, I'm going to tell you to not put weight on your hands and scrunch in your shoulders. But today I'm going to say, go ahead. Sometimes it just feels good to do this, to really let that scrunch sort of happen. Give yourself a little bit of movement here from side to side. Just keep on scrunching, scrunch away, just for today. Sort of settling yourself into the center here. Let's drop that right shoulder down and twist towards the left. And breathe. And switch sides. Coming back to the center, sit just a little bit deeper, and then rise up. Turning your toes either forward or maybe just slightly in. Come wide enough here that you're feeling just the gentlest beginning of a stretch here in your inner thighs. That'll look different on everybody. Inhale the arms overhead here. And exhale, fold forward. Come halfway up, long spine. And fold again. Halfway, long spine, really lengthening. And fold. Once more, halfway up. Hold here, keep breathing. And walk your hands out even further away, bringing your hands a little bit wider than your shoulders. 
Stay up on your fingertips. This will protect your wrists some. And then just let your head relax. Your hips hang back a little bit. And breathe here. It's like a really, really wide down dog. Slowly bringing your hands back under your shoulders. On your next inhale, come halfway up. Hold here, hold the breath. Keep holding the breath, bring your hands to your hips, squeeze your elbows back like you're squeezing a basketball. Exhale, rise up. And let's bring the feet back in. And let's go ahead and sit all the way down. Bring the legs forward. We point and flex the feet a few times. And bringing your right leg straight and bend your left leg. Just bring that foot to the thigh. Flex that right foot. Make it nice and strong. Now on your next inhale, bring your arms overhead. And as you exhale, start hinging forward here. Don't grab onto anything yet. Look about five feet in front of you. Reach five feet in front of you. Really pulling your spine long. Now look and pay attention to where your hands are. If they're not quite to your foot, just grab onto your leg wherever you are. If you're right at your foot, go ahead and grab it. If you're reaching past your foot and you don't have a block or something to hold onto, then grab onto your wrist wherever you are so that you can continue to pull really nice and long here. So I want you to think more about pulling long here than coming low. We don't want to find this curve in the upper spine in order to bring our head low. It's better to stay long and pull long. And then slowly release out of that. And then bring that left foot flat. So not right next to the leg. Think about that whole leg still coming right out of your hip here. So we're about hip distance apart. Interlace your fingers around that left shin and grow really nice and tall here. Now if it's okay for your hips and you want to bring that foot over, you can. That doesn't work for me, so I'm going to stay right here. Now we're going to twist towards that bent leg, twist towards the left, and then look back. Keep your shoulders relaxed. On your next inhale, release out of your twist just a little bit. Exhale, twist back even further. And then come out of your twist all together. And switch sides, left foot forward. Pulling that right foot in, foot to thigh. Flex this left foot, pull that pinky toe back towards the knee. Keep that leg nice and strong and engaged. 
and bring the arms overhead. And then hinging forward, keeping it really, really long here. Reach, reach, reach. And then if you're grabbing your wrist, grab the opposite. Pulling long here. So hold on just wherever your hands fell. Think about lengthening out all the way through the top of your head. Slowly release out. And then bringing that right foot flat. Remembering to stay this hip bone distance apart here. Interlace the fingers around the right knee. And then come from our sitting to sitting. And <laughs> sit really tall. Grow tall. Widen the collarbone, shoulder blades. Pull closer to each other in the back. If it's okay with your hips, you can cross the foot over or stay right here. Twist towards that bent leg, twist towards the right, and then look back. Keep your spine long, but think about relaxing your shoulders. Don't squeeze them up to your ears here. Nice and relaxed. Pull that relaxation on up to your face and breathe. On your next inhale, relax out of that twist a little bit. Exhale, twist back even further. And then release your twist all together. And let's find ourselves laying down. Pulling the knees towards the chest, maybe rocking side to side. it feels good for you here, you can rock front to back instead. That always feels like a bit of a trick to me, like somebody's trying to trick me into doing core work that I don't want to do. If you want to find happy baby here, you can add that in. Completely optional. Slowly, as you're ready, start making your way to your savasana. Also called corpse pose. Let your feet relax out to the sides. See if your shoulder blades can tuck down and under. Let your eyes close down. And take a moment here, checking in on your body. See if there's anything you can do to make yourself even more comfortable. And focus here on the sounds you hear. In Missouri, it's a beautiful day. Our windows are open. I hear birds chirping. Some kids playing. Just let the sounds surround you.
stay here as long as you like, as long as you can. Thank you, thank you for joining me today, for holding on to this practice, and allowing me to lead you in this. Thank you, thank you, namaste.